What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video is a haul video. I picked up some stuff and wanted to go over this and this is kind of like a birthday video, kind of like combination with that because it's stuff that I got for my birthday. So today you're going to kind of see what I grabbed or what I got for that and everything. I got some couple releases and then I also got a NECA figure to show off today. So hopefully you guys stay tuned to the video and enjoy this video. Let's do this. Roll it. So first I wanted to start off with the NECA figure that I found actually, which is going to be really cool. This is from Friday the 13th Part 5 and New Beginning, and this is actually specifically the Nightmare Jason. This isn't Roy from the movie, because if anybody, if you spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this film, click by five seconds, Roy is the killer in this film. So when you find that out, yeah, you know that that's a character you can't get for a NECA figure, but this is actually the Nightmare Jason figure right there. Let me try to get that lighting right. If I can, I know some stuff's reflecting. <laughs> but yeah, if you can see that right there, that is the Jason that comes with three different hockey masks or four different hockey masks, different weapons, the grave section and everything. And this is the hockey mask that's actually on the cover of the VHS cover for Nightmare on, I mean for Nightmare on Street for Friday the 13th part five. Sorry, it's hot here and I just got back from being outside and driving and it's fucking already killing me. It's making my brain go crazy. But yeah, this one, I was excited to find this because I feel like this is a very rare neck figure that I don't know of anyone having or I don't remember anyone showing this one off. So I'm happy to get this one because the Jason, this is Nightmare Jason from Tommy Jarvis's Nightmare. You only see him for about like three, four minutes at the beginning of the movie and that's about it. And now I actually picked up some releases. I got both uh, two 4Ks, one Steelbook and one's just the 4K Blu-ray. So let's go over this one right here and that's Poltergeist right here. And this one is just my favorite spiritual, like supernatural possession type, anything like that or haunting type film. It's Poltergeist. This is the top jam for me right here. I like this better than Exorcist, better than The Conjuring. I think this is just the magnum opus. And this is actually my favorite Toby Hooper film as well. It's just really has everything I like about it. It has a huge, awesome family dynamic with a really great cast, you know, fantastic special effects like and practical effects that hold up today that are still really creepy. And just, I think, fantastic direction by Toby Hooper. I know there's like a disclaimer where a lot of people say like, Steven Spielberg kind of directed this film, but Toby Hooper kind of directed it. I, I like to think that they both had a hand in doing it, but like I said, this is my favorite Toby Hooper film and just a classic, just a really great film for real. If you haven't seen this film, you need to check it out because Poltergeist has the best of everything in terms of, like I said, the spiritual haunting Poltergeist or like, you know, ghost type movies. This one has everything you want in it. So let's open this bad boy up. The sleeve right there is just normal. This is the Warner Brothers uh, 4K release and stuff like that. I was just happy that it doesn't have that 100 years like shit at the top. I don't like that at all. But the discs are kind of bland. Like they're very much the same. That was one thing that I was like, ah, oh, the discs are kind of bland. Oh well. But I'm just kind of happy to have this in 4K. Can't wait to check this out. As a matter of fact, after I'm done with this video, while I'm editing this video, I'm going to be popping this bad boy on in 4K and checking out what it looks like. So yes, I'm happy to add that to the collection. Here's another film that I did not have in my collection either. And this is a Steelbook Scream Factory release of Carrie. That's what I ended up picking up in Carrie. Brian De Palma. This might be my favorite Brian De Palma film. I have to really check out his catalog and look it over again, but off the top of my head, this is my favorite Brian De Palma film that I could think of. Carrie is just fantastic, and this is one that, like, you can't really even call yourself a horror collector if you don't have this in your collection, so I'm very happy to add Carrie there to the collection. Let's take off this J card right here. Oh, there's the back, too, if you want to check out the J card back piece and you pause it it's got three discs on here so we got the 4k disc the blu-ray disc and then the third disc is all your special features so i think the only thing that's on the other discs is like commentary type stuff so there's that the and then there's your back side right there freaking gorgeous steelbook like for real this steelbook is sexy i'm so glad to add this to the collection man oh three discs look at that look at the three discs in there look at this gorgeous shit right here man like come on ah uh, it's just i love it i love it so much let's take all these discs out that way you can see the the back part of the steelbook i always have a problem getting the very last disc out if it's a three disc set i always have a problem getting that last disc out there's the inside right there and sissy spacek in here Ugh. 
fantastic, like fantastic for real. Some of the best acting I've seen in a horror film is in this film. Carrie's really good. Like one of the best probably Stephen King adaptations too. And man, John Travolta in here, you know, being at the 70s, just old school, really feeling it, you know what I mean? Back in the day, like this film has strong atmosphere. It's creepy, it's scary. Like there's actually points in this movie that are quite horrifying that I think, and it's part of probably the mother's performance too. The way her mother is in this film is just, oh man. And like I said, so happy to add this to the collection because I almost feel like I said I couldn't even call myself a true horror collector or even a true horror fan with not having Carrie in the collection. So I'm happy to add this steel because this is just a fantastic release. So happy to dive into this. And Poltergeist has got two films, really awesome films to be watching next. And also, like I said, you guys hope you enjoyed this neck of figure. Like I said, really rare nightmare, Jason. And that's just the haul stuff, just some simple stuff that I got for the birthday. You know, nothing huge. Main birthday gift was going with the family and taking the kids out to the Mudvayne concert and checking out them. You know, we took my son and my daughters and my wife and everything. We all went to the concert. It was a huge family event. That was really fun and stuff. So just wanted to show this stuff off. Hope you guys like this video. Enjoy. Be sure you like, subscribe, have that notification bell poked, all that jam, all that good stuff because it helps out the channel. And so you're notified anytime I post videos. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.